1988, I was asked to help prosecutors make the case that Gary Heidnick wasn't insane at the time of his horrific crimes. We're interviewing all the serial killers now in custody for a psychobehavioral profile. Most of them have been happy to talk to us. You spook easily, Starling? Not yet, sir. What do you think he removes their skins, Agent Starling? Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims. I didn't. No. No, you ain't. He's targeting what he considers threats to the survival of human beings, and I believe that he finds you one of these threats. We'd like to hear from you in your own words about what happened. Do you mind if we record this? They look pretty real. How did I get out? We so don't understand the cases if we don't talk to the bad guys. You know, there's a lot more like me. Do you think so? Psychopaths are convinced that there's nothing wrong with them, so these men are virtually impossible to study. Yet you have found a way in near perfect laboratory conditions. Hello, lady. I knew a week before she died I was gonna kill her. I knew a week before she died I was gonna kill her. She went, she went out to a party, she got the house. Soused. He boiled her head in a pot of water. And he let it boil for days. The smell was called by a neighbor. She called the police, and the police came. My name is John Douglas. As an FBI agent, I studied hundreds of serial killers and talked to many of them face to face. When I joined the FBI's Behavioral Sciences Unit in 1977, my job was to decode the minds of America's most notorious serial killers using a brand new approach called criminal profiling. The purpose of the interviews was to learn from the offenders. We realized that we got a gold mine here. Y plus how equals two. No one had ever done that before. Here's Johnny.